Welcome to Capbone Consulting Excel Prototypes Training Focusing on Capital Markets. We hope all is well. We have a lot to cover so let's get going. This tutorial video is a part of a multi-video series covering interpolation methods, as we always do in this channel, we leverage the power of Excel VBA to show how capital markets tools can be built to solve issues, and improve analysis efficiently, in this part 2 of this interpolation set of tutorial videos we will cover the cubic spline method, we will display our own cubic spline cap bone function that could enable users interpolate and extrapolate between two points, we will discuss the advantages and the disadvantages that cubic spline interpolation holds comparative to the linear interpolation leveraging our own cap bone functions in both cases. Let's go to the spline tab. This sheet has six sections, an input section, an output section, graph section, a navigation table, the theoretical formula and a reference section. In the input area, we simulate a case of a time series where we have two points or prices and we need to find a third based on a trading day, obviously we are trying to solve for y given x, in the output section, Based on a selected date, the results are displayed in the orange area for the cubic spline interpolation, and in the light yellow area for the linear interpolation method, the three graphs give a visual display of the difference between the cubic spline method and the linear interpolation, highlighting the differences in the shape and curvature of the curves as well as the excessive values of the lower and higher boundaries of the cubic spline versus the linear interpolation, Spline interpolation is a form of interpolation where the interpolant is a special type of piecewise polynomial called a spline. The spline interpolation is often preferred over polynomial interpolation because the interpolation error can be made small even when using low degree polynomials for the spline. Furthermore, the spline interpolation avoids the problem of Runge's phenomenon, in which oscillation can occur between points when interpolating using high degree polynomials. A quick practical tip here is to use cubic spline for interpolation in the core or middle of the curve and use linear interpolation for the boundaries. Here some of the interesting splines characteristics and features. Feature number one, cubic splines are function approximations that are continuous at merging points. Feature number two, Cubic splines functions that have continuous first and second derivatives where they join. Feature number 3, natural cubic spline is a cubic spline that has second derivative equal to zero at end points. Feature number 4, unlike Lagrange polynomials, each point in the line does not change the entire line. The theoretical paper shared in this video will explain further the cubic spline interpolation methodology, you can refer to the references and links in this Excel prototype for more information on the spline methodology. In conclusion, we hope we showed the users some of the hidden gems of Excel while exposing the strength and weakness of the cubic spline interpolation, there are many other solutions and techniques to interpolate and extrapolate between points. However the cubic spline is the second most used interpolation method after the linear interpolation method, in most industries, mainly because of the characteristics we just discussed in this video, we will be covering other practical related concepts, in future videos. Thank you for watching this Capbone Consulting Excel Prototypes tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day and look for our next videos.